there's all these benefits of being in the cloud. Any sort of resistance or challenges you you talk to leaders at other companies who are maybe holding back from going to the cloud? Look, how far are we in the migration to cloud? Um, maybe ten percent of the way, um, right? So let's you know, just it, it happens to be where things are growing, right? But it's not where everything is. You have all the stuff that we've implemented over the last forty plus <laughs> years, um, and what happens to that? Maybe it migrates to the cloud. Maybe not. You know, a lot of that's going to be an economic calculus. There were, there used to be a lot more um, security uh, and data privacy related um, concerns. I think um, those were legitimate questions and um, things obviously we have to continually pay attention to and continually work on hardening. Uh, but I think also that as more companies have moved forward and the bar has been raised in terms of security standards overall, um, you know, governance and compliance standards all being implemented, um, you know, include up through like FedRAMP and FedRAMP High. A lot of these questions have sort of been answered and there's enough of a, now a, a baseline that it's safe to do this understanding um, that the, the cautions that used to be raised all the time about going to the cloud were, um, you know, let me say appropriate for the time, but to a large degree have, uh, have changed. Uh, the, the, what's interesting to me is I didn't see things hardening this quickly, honestly. Uh, I thought that uh, the cloud platforms and, and uh, especially around data, sensitive data moving to the cloud, um, I thought that that transition would be maybe starting in 2016, oh. ending in 2026. <laughs> oh. uh, and I think these days it's just, it's the normal starting point. You know, what, what do you think that, a lot of questions around governance, right? What What is the organization yeah. doing? It's not so much, you know, data security. Can I can I lock up my data and protect it um, if I do the appropriate things? I think there's enough um, good patterns and understanding of how to approach that problem. How do I track where my data sets are, where they came from, who's allowed to see them? Um, you know, how do I have a lineage uh, map that says that data that originated in systems on prem but moved to the cloud? Um, you know, I've kept track of it and I have a responsibility to, you know, to maybe delete it at some point in time or be accountable to stakeholders within the business or the customer community. I think those are the harder problems now. Um, but the interesting thing about those is they're not new problems in the sense that you still have to do those things, even if you're entirely on prem. Right. So cloud introduces another storage bucket or another area of um, management or governance that you have to look after. But I don't think it, it, these are fundamentally new problems. So as long as you, you know, you maybe they've heightened awareness of the importance of it, along with, you know, just regulatory, uh, you know, the legal regimes around GDPR and so forth, um, really lit a fire under people to start to pay attention to the governance aspects of uh, data management. Thank you so much for checking out this clip from the Data Talk podcast. To watch the full episode, you can either go to the Experian blog, the URL is experian.com slash datatalk, or you can click on the link, which is found in the description of this video.